They say it couldn't be done. Little did they know. That never stopped me. Our luck, sir. Uh, don't look that up. Uh, not scripted, I swear. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the first spring build about. That was hand built by yours truly. Alright, now let's show off this thing. So I have two versions of a spring. This is kind of the uh, the one that makes sense. I have like two different versions, but this one's always going to be in sync with the tire. It's kind of hard to explain. And the other one's going to be kind of loose. A long time to set up. And you see, I can like kind of bend the spring or whatever, but it'll still retract back to its original form. Alright, so if you want to know how to make this exact coil spring or whatever you want to call it, I actually have a tutorial that shows you how to build it. It's actually worth checking out. I kind of developed a formula for it, but that's set on that. Alright, now I'll cut you guys a deal. A mechanic tutorial of me building it step by step. All the parts and all the things to make you guys the spring mechanic for yourselves. I will make a step by step tutorial. If we hit 1k subs by September 15th, I don't want to make a tutorial. You guys don't want to subscribe apparently, but uh, you see, we need to come together and do what we don't want to do. These are my demands, and if we don't hit 1k subs by uh, September 15th, you're not getting a tutorial video. I am never making a tutorial video on the spring. And building the mechanics a headache, and I have little motivation to build one again. I want subs, you want tutorial, it's neutral interest. Alright, so I'm gonna show you me setting up the car. Just leave that. Alright, so now I unanchor un everything on collision and everything. This is because I haven't done it, and there's a lot of parts to do that with. So, anyway, as you can see, so the further away the servos or whatever, I have to pull these. So, these are the little, uh, so you see this piece right there? That's actually the building block for the entire sprint. Now, this piece right here is connected to uh, this piece. And basically, I just channel that all the way through. And eventually, I'm getting my way up the spring. And eventually, I repeat that and I'll build or what appears to be an actual sprint. Now, this car is kind of a mess. But again, our springs to keep it in check. Where the spring's not floating everywhere. I had to bring the wheel down somehow. And this wheel is connected to the spring, so I know it's gonna be hitting stuff. And this is the actual bottom of the spring. Uh, this is the top. Uh, yeah, I'll explain this a little, show you more of this. Then we have our weight right here. Look, it's a mess. I don't remember how I built it either. Once I'm in the seat, I uncollision off all my wheels, that way I can actually ground. Alright, so now I have these, uh, what's it called, pistons pushing up this car, and now all the car... So, the, the, see where the blue pistons are? Now this is pushing up all the other painted area. And, uh, while that happens, I also have these pistons pushing up the wheel. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what it's like all going inside of each other. You know, compressing and actually forming the spring. Now the only thing that's invisible in this is the little pieces to connect to the spring bit. And what I'm going to do is show you what my process is. So I unanchor everything and uncollide everything. Then I'll recollide the wheels so they don't go through the map. Now this lever is connected up to uh, all the pistons even to the car and to the actual spring now when i f flick this lever it's gonna push everything together and boom so all this piston does right here is just move me up and that's the same with the other one down here then boom this piston pushes the wheel in place and it's messing up the coil ah but that puts that in place and when i un anchor everything boom working spring and obviously the what's it called the little parts in there are hidden actually I can show you this piece then you see the piston is hooked up to the little thing and yeah that's basically how the spring the coil spring coil works and yeah the cool thing about this is all the servos they're 
always want to get back in their own position, so they add resistance. And that's basically how I built the... I basically use the servo mechanic for my own gang, and I put in my uh, sprint. Because servos, they always want to go back to their pos starting position. Now these springs right here, this makes it where the the coil can't bend super lot. For example, uh, imagine having a thruster on the end of the spring. It would zoom out. Basically, that's what the these little springs do right here. Alright, so now I'm going to show you my other coil. This one has no car attached to it. And I guess I'll show you what the spring looks like kind of hidden. As you can see, these tiny little specks, that's going to be the spring. It's actually quite lovely to watch it all assemble together. Anyway, that's... You can see it all moving about. Click that. And it goes all together. The same spring, same spring. It's a little different. I'll show you what I mean by a little different from the other one. As you can see, this spring works. It's kind of hectic, though. And the only reason why it is because I don't have, uh, what's it called, the limiters from before. As you can see, it looks it's the same coil, nothing new, nothing new. I'll show you the mechanics, it's all the same. Also, I don't have the, the what's it called, the side springs to keep the spring from going, like, uh, super hectic. And, yeah, this is pretty much it. Also, for some reason, I, I just have to say this. Whenever I look at this, it looks like a, uh, you know, like a castle roof, kind of? Like a tower roof, maybe? I don't know, just, just one of the weird things, like a mechanic tower. I um, just, this is just something I connected with. Uh, building this. So, I, I've discovered I could build this. Like, I knew the mechanics a few months ago, but I, under predicaments, I just quit Roblox for a bit and to just took a break go back to uh, building it for a bit and eventually I got back into it I was like you know what I'm gonna be the first one to make this and yeah. without further ado that'll be the end of the video without, uh, like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it